If you're a bit skint but you really need to upgrade your smartphone, well it's always worth checking out the latest Motorola Moto G series smartphones and today we're going to be taking a squint at the Moto G84. Just 250 GBPs buys you this slick budget blow with a stunning 6.5 inch POLED display, got a mighty 5000 mAh battery, 50 megapixel camera with optical image stabilisation and all wrapped up in this rather gorgeous leathery red frame. Woof! So enough tantalising chats, let's whip the Moto G84 out of the box, take you on a full on tour and for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do pug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! So what's crammed inside of that plastic free packaging besides the Moto G84? Well, Motorola is still kindly cramming adapters in its phone boxes, a 33 watt effort in this case. And you've also got yourself a Type-C USB cable. And that seems to be it for the box, no case or any other extra bonus bits like that. Alright, so that's the box out of the way, now let's check out the phone, which just happens to be one of the best looking blowers I've seen at this sort of price point. Now, unlike the slightly more expensive Edge 40 Neo, you've got a completely flat display here on the Moto G84. Flat edges as well, although rounded corners thankfully, so it's not uncomfortable to clutch. Not too chunky either, although those camera lenses do jut out a wee bit from the arse end. As you can see there, reasonably skinny bezels surrounding that display as well and just a dinky wee selfie cam orifice up top. But yes, it's certainly a round back where all the action is happening. And what you got here is a vegan leather finish, a nice soft touch design, feels really good when you're holding it. And that partnership with Pantone certainly working out well because Motorola has released some smartphones with some stunning colour options. This right here is the Viva Magenta model, it's stamped right there on the back in case you ever forget. I think it possibly clashes a wee bit with my bright orange t-shirt, not that I'm really a fashionista. Yeah, certainly a proper bit of eye candy with the Motorola logo there slapped in the middle and then you've got the bright red camera chassis as well. But there are two other design choices with the Motorola G84 if you're not sold on the red. You've got a marshmallow blue which is kind of a really nice light blue that also comes with the leathery black. Otherwise Motorola's standard midnight blue colour option that comes with a matte finish instead. And the Moto G84 is also IP54 splash resistant, so it can get a wee bit moist, no worries at all. Now you basically know what you're getting with Motorola when it comes to the software side of things, because it's always a lovely stock clean version of Android. It's Android 13, which should be upgraded into Android 14 soon, but one of the big bummers with the Moto G84 is you're only guaranteed that one OS upgrade, so after Android 14, that's probably going to be it. However, at least Motorola is now guaranteeing three full years of security updates and that's on a bi-monthly basis as well, so pretty regular. But if that lack of support is going to bug you, well maybe look at a Pixel or a OnePlus instead. And like the Pixel 7a, not much in the way of bloatware, a few little bits of crypt on here like Booking.com and Facebook. Some sort of Monopoly game apparently, although several Christmases with my family have left me traumatised in that department. Thankfully these bits can be quickly and easily got rid of. And meanwhile, Motorola has chucked on some handy bits of its own, including the excellent Ready4. This allows you to quickly and easily pair up with a PC or a tablet and then use the phone as a webcam. You can share your apps, your files, all kinds of great wee bits on there. You've also got the excellent Family Space. This allows you to set up separate profiles for your kids and other family members in case you want them to just shut the f up on a long road trip or something. This prevents them from poking around in all of your various bits, only gives them access to the apps that you want them to use, so in this case, just the FM radio. Let them relive the road trips of our childhood, literally hours at a stretch with nothing to keep you entertained but a staticky, fuzzy, crappy bit of Discord channel, whatever. You've also got Moto Secure, which builds on those sturdy security foundations of Android. And last up, the rather magnificent Moto app, which allows you to fully customise your smartphone. You've got some great gesture control in here, including flip for do not disturb and of course the old fast torch. <laughs> got tips and tricks if you've never used a mode roller form before and an excellent gaming mode as well. More on that in a bit. When you want to wake up the Moto G84, well you've got an in-display optical fingerprint sensor which does the job nicely. As you can see they're reasonably responsive. And if your mitts happen to be a bit grubby, a bit moist, whatever, we do have face unlock as a backup option as well, which again, pretty responsive as long as the lighting isn't too ropey. And as you can see there, my Moto G84 review model came with a generous 256 gigs of storage space, which is more than some flagships come with. 
And this is actually expandable as well. If you yank out the old SIM tray, you'll see that second SIM slot can be used to house a micro SD memory card instead. Now there are a few smartphone rivals around the £250 price point that also sport OLED displays. But the Moto G84 is still an absolute cracker. It's a 6.5 inch with Full HD Plus resolution. Super bright skills, well over a thousand nits. When you're outdoors on a sunshiny day, this thing will counter that glare, no worries. And it means really bright, poppy, punchy visuals too. You got sharp contrast, nice deep inky black. So certainly any media streamers, any movie fans should be more than satisfied at the visuals spaffed at their eyeballs. Got nice wide viewing angles too, and the refresh rate can hop between 60 and 120 hertz. If you leave it on 120, they're nice and fluid zipping through your UI and everything, but it can scale automatically from 60 to 120 when needed. In fact, one of my only complaints with the Moto G84's panel is there's no always on display option, which is kind of annoying given this is OLED tech. You have to use a third party solution for that instead. And the Motorola G84 also sports a stereo speaker setup. So let's boost that volume, see what we got. Guys, I'm from Sunderland. I'm absolutely withering in this heat, okay? Up north, the average temperature is, oh Christ, my bollocks have frozen solid and now they're clacking together like an executive office toy. So yeah, on that top volume, wow, this thing really spaffs out some loud noise. It's not too tinny either on that top volume. It's certainly powerful enough to cut through any kind of background chicanery and strong audio support from the likes of Dolby Atmos as well. This includes plenty of sound presets which you can fully customize and also a manual equalizer if you wanna tweak those settings yourself. And oh yes, as well as that Bluetooth wireless streaming support, you do actually have a headphone jack here on the Motorola G84. Remember those wee buggers? Now performance, and the Motorola Moto G84 is powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon 695 chipset, which you might have heard of before. It's quite an aging chipset. It's been around the block quite a few times. But just because it's getting on a bit and it's been stuffed inside of lots of other budget blows, it doesn't mean it's a bad platform by any means. Certainly the everyday experience here on the Moto G84, nice and slick and smooth. Apps just load up when you tap them, no fuss, no nonsense. And if you're a fan of mobile gaming, you like to unwind by relieving some hapless stranger of their brains and other bodily organs in the likes of Call of Duty, well, no worries, you can get gaming on those on the G84. It'll play your PUBGs, your Free Fires, all that good stuff, even a bit of Genshin Impact on low detail settings, although expect the odd judder. That flat display, perfectly well set up for gaming, nice and responsive, and I had no issues with overheating either, even when I was gaming for a good hour or so. The Moto G84 stays cool to the touch. And at any point during your gaming session, you can drag out the Moto Gaming Tools. This allows you to block notifications so you're not disturbed in the middle of your online murderthon. You've also got a high performance mode, which is quite handy if you are playing more demanding fare. You can do a bit of screenshotting. You've got acoustic lights. And personally, I find that more distracting than anything else. And hey, battery life is another highlight here on the Motorola Moto G84. You've got an almighty 5,000 milliamp hour capacity cell crammed inside of that gorgeous crimson frame. Pretty standard for a Motorola blower, and that'll keep you going all day long, helped along by the energy efficient Snapdragon chipset and the fact you've got that lovely clean stock Android here. Doesn't matter if you're gaming, piddling about with the camera, streaming movies, whatever, that battery meter just trickles down. So you should comfortably get a weekend of use out of this thing as long as you don't go too mental. However, if you do find you're running low on juice at any point, well, you'll have to plug in the Moto G84 for quite a while to get a decent amount of battery life back in there. It's just 30 watt wired charger and no wireless charging support either. But I mean, that's incredibly rare to find at this sort of price point. So let's finish up this hopefully satisfactory Motorola G84 unboxing with a squint at that Lara camera tech. And as you can see there, it is a simple dual lens setup. You've got a 50 megapixel primary shooter with optical image stabilization, impressively. And that's backed by a mere eight megapixel ultra wide angle shooter. Now it is your standard Motorola camera app slapped on here, complete with all the helpful guidance. So for instance, if it detects a human face or close to a human face, like good old Veronica here, then you will be advised to switch to portrait for instance. And this will allow you to get a shot with some gorgeous bokeh style action in the background, fully adjustable, of course. And you've got plenty of other bonus modes on here as well, including a pro mode if you want to manually tweak the likes of the white balance, the ISO levels. You can also use this to shoot raw format images. And then there's plenty of other bonus bits stacked on here, including a dedicated night vision mode, which can switch on automatically when the G84 detects that the lighting is crap. Got an ultra res mode, the usual spot color shenanigans, etc. 
and here's a handful of sample photos shot with that 50 meg primary camera with its optical image stabilization. That really helps out in lower light environments, just helps to prevent shake and blur. Colors are reasonably accurately reproduced. Some pretty fine detail packed in there. And at night time you do have that dedicated night mode which can help to brighten up and sharpen up a shot as well. If you want to shoot yourself some video, well unfortunately this does top off at full HD resolution. There is no 4K option on here. The best you can manage is swapping between 30 and 60 frames per second. And again the Moto G84 does a pretty respectable job of just capturing some simple shareable shots and home movies. Kind of lacking in finer detail but the audio pickup absolutely fine, the stabilisation is good. And then last up around the front of the Model G84 you've got a 16 megapixel selfie cam which can capture absolute bangers like this. Here's a few slightly less CAC examples and I did find that colours were less vivid, less punchy using that selfie cam. But generally the portrait mode does a decent job and you do have a screen flash feature if you absolutely need it. And yeah, if you need to, you can also shoot some full HD resolution footage using that selfie camera. It's best off just reserved for your video chats and what have you. It does a perfectly fine job here. You know, reasonably good visuals and the audio pickup, thankfully, nice and clear. And that right there is an up close and personal look at the Motorola Moto G84. Quite a respectable blow for 250 quid. You've got some decent specs despite the slightly aging Snapdragon chipset. Excellent battery life, some great media creds, and of course, that simply stunning bright red design. Viva bloody magenta indeed. So let me know what you guys reckon down in the comments below. Is the Moto G84 stiff competition for other budget blowers, or would you rather have something else stashed inside your bag, your purse, your pocket, what have you? Definitely let us know in the comments below. Please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech, and do have yourselves a wonderful ruddy rest of the week. Cheers everyone. Love you.